Good morning, Internet. It's November, which means it's National Novel Writing Month, uh, which is a, an activity that I definitely appreciate, uh, would love to get behind, and have not participated in for about five or six years now. Uh, go figure. I did it once. Um, uh, it was fun. It, it was a lot of fun to really force myself to, to take the ideas, the, the, the places, and, and, and stuff swimming around in my head and, and, and really just force myself to, to get it on paper, to, to get it out of my head and into the world. I'm not doing it this year because uh, I need to focus. Uh, I, need to, I need to be able to focus my creativity on stuff. And right now, the thing that's eating up most of that focus is my app Pill Timer. Writing an app and writing code actually is a, a very uh, creative activity because you have to um, creatively problem solve. Programming isn't a, a, a mathematical word problem uh, where you take the information, get an equation, and spit out an answer. But it's really more of figuring out what the problem is. But you have to tell the computer what the calculations are, and you have to sit down and you have to figure it out. And sometimes you have to go through trial and error and, and just work on this one line of code until you get it just right. It is a very creative endeavor, uh, and don't let anyone tell you differently. But to the 83 people that have already bought uh, the upgrade, thank you. I sincerely thank you. One of those people is me. But I've always sort of envied people that, 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 that have the ability to take this, to take ideas that, that don't actually exist and adequately communicate them uh, in, in a story. Uh, sometimes it seems like I can barely describe something real, never, never mind something that doesn't even exist, like a dragon. My, my, my imagination keeps running with, with all these things, worlds and flights of fancy and possibilities. Some of them are real, and those are the ones that I try to turn into apps. Um, or I try to say, you know, I'm going to write an app for that. And some of them aren't real, and I think, okay, well, maybe I'll write a story. But it's a constant battle for me to, uh, to try and make the music that I want to listen to, to write the stories that I want to read, to, to build the apps that I want to use... It's it's a noble goal, sure. You know, there, there's there's the gap between what I can do and what I want to do. You know, what what I want is how to train your dragon, and what I get is well, this. How do I describe something that doesn't exist? How do, how do I describe the feeling of being homesick for a place that I've never been? But your imagination, you can come up with these fanciful creatures like dragons and you can imagine what it's like to, to ride a dragon or to be a dragon and it's it's amazing but it's so hard to put into words this happens in creative work too um the idea of a graphic designer um wanting it to look a certain way but not having the skills to make it look that certain way it takes time to get to a level of proficiency at, at, at a craft. And so I guess the only solution is I've just got to keep doing it. I, I've, I've got to sit down and I've got to do the National Novel Writing Month, but not this year because this year it's already November 8th and I just don't have the time. Whatever. Um, but really, the point that I'm actually trying to get to right now is how long until How to Train Your Dragon 2 comes out because I really want to see that movie, okay? Ha! <sighs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.